guys. Just starting up the music and all of the usual things. I suppose I'll paste my link into Faria. Alright, so <clears throat> today we're doing Voice of Hunger. Um, so, Voice of Hunger. What can I do for you? <clears throat> voice. So Voice of Hunger is the green. Let's just search this guy. So destroy all friendly creatures, gaining attack and life equal to their combined life. So there's a few combo decks that use this, which could be interesting. Um, I was kind of thinking of maybe an enchant deck that utilizes Voice of Hunger as well. I'm not sure. Or... I wonder if Apex Predator would actually do anything. Apex Predator is a little bit, a little bit expensive. But we could go for Seek Shelter, I think in this particular list. Problem with Voice of Hunger is that it's usually better to have multiple bodies on the field rather than just one big guy that can be answered with a singular frogify. But how can we make this work? <clears throat> I wonder if I do like sacrifice things. Mono green sacrifice. Uh, could be a thing. There's nothing that I can sacrifice, right? Well, feed the forest. Hmm. Feed the forest. Soulbound Sagami. Is this ever used? Is this ever used? Probably not. Runin could be interesting in a list like this. <clears throat> but yeah, we might go up to five forests. Apex. I think if I do like sacrifice things, like I could put the bone collector out of range of the voice, potentially. I don't know if there's enough sacrifice things. Um, let's see how that looks. Bloom sprite. Living Willow is fine here, I guess. Us. Spirit. So if I have these things, I think I need feed. Probably. This looks this list looks a little strange. Oh, Aridin would be really nice if I've got sack targets. Oh. Wait, this could be interesting. Bridger and Emissary. <laughs> That's a really cool combo actually. Maybe I could try that, but give all, give one one to all creatures in your hand. So that kind of means that I need creatures in my hand, like multiple creatures. 
Do I ever run Beastmaster? Not if I'm running these, but I really like the synergy with this. And voice. That's super interesting to me. So what if we just did a Beastmaster list with Emissary? Voice? Oh, Oakling. Oakling is needed for voice combo. So I've already I've already got quite a few cards. So I think bone collectors are not going to be in here. Do we even want to go to five forests? Tyrion is pretty juicy. Let me move this down a little bit. Um, and a lot of this right now is relying on sacrifice, right? So I'm going to need some other good stuff just to put in here. Well, Seek Shelter is pretty decent. That gets some pretty decent cards. And if we get a junk card from it, we can always sacrifice it to the the voice, I suppose. Uh, this needs to be very creature heavy, which it is. I think Beastmaster would fit perfectly in here. Um, doesn't go well with this though. Summer. Seem to be missing spiders. You think spiders? Oh, yes, definitely spiders. That makes sense. With all these hand buffs. Excellent. Alright, so... This... Yeah, I guess this is cool. Hand buff things with spirit. What if I go into blue instead? I mean... Like, I could... Drop feed and put in like failed experiment at frog tosser and enchant. Enchant could be interesting. So yeah, our lore page today is voice of hunger. Uh, if that's not obvious. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so this is definitely like a hand buff deck. I think Frog Tosser would benefit a lot. What else is good to be hand buffed? Just Tosser, really. Cute divine guardian things. That's exciting. <laughs> What about Ulani? Does that ever... I feel like I always have a creature. It's very creature heavy. Divine Guardian. What about Unlikely Hero? <laughs> no wait, that doesn't really matter. Divine Guardian. Can be a voice target, that's true. It's like four cost. What do I have that's I think I have like very early collectors. Also buff on divine creature from rebirth. Could try it. Maybe two? Three might be a bit much. But I think uh feed is so nice, but I don't know if I'm gonna be doing feed. Five forest is a lot. Minus one emissary, you think? I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. Pretty underwhelming, yeah. <laughs> uh, do I ever go into blue? Well, blue is a six land count. What's in blue, even? Land movement? It's like star shell without a draw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need 
Yeah. I need cards in hand for that. It's not a whole lot of card draw or anything. Oh, what about fairies? No, I don't have any events. <laughs> That's bad. Enchant stuff with hunger as a third enchant, sort of. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Um, but this is also interesting, because I, I don't know if I have a ton of room left. <clears throat> that's like 90% of different deck, yeah. <laughs> Would give me access to, like, humbling and things. Aurora on, like, bloom sprites. Uh, okay, let's just try the mono green thing, since we're pretty much built. Um, do I need mobility, though? Like Horse Master? Also, if I'm running a feed, I want Tyrion Golem as well. So maybe I just cut these and have really aggressive lands. But this is a slower deck with spirit. Hmm. Well, we could try something out like this. Delete feed. I definitely need mobility, though. Like, these Voice of Hungers are gonna be just dead. So either Teleport or Horse Master. Teleport, uh, is awkward, though. If I only go to... Feed seems so necessary, but... Is there anything else I would cut? So what are my starts? This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Ton of starts. Is Time of Legends worth it? Draw into either Aridin or Runin. Maybe? Runin early seems fine. Something like this can edit it later. Oh. Gotta save it in the right place this time. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Ranked seems fine. We're like one star away. Yellow could be interesting with the, the hand buff things. Is there any like high life statted things? Lionfish is only one desert? Interesting. Oh, and there's the sacrifice things, maybe. But then are we just building a red-yellow sack? I mean, green-yellow? Last... okay. Oh, it's cheese! Alright, he might... he might just wipe us off the board. Could 
work. Hmm. I guess we start side and we just push up one side with this list. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> Am I considered double neutral? I'm not sure. I kind of want this in his face, though. Maybe it doesn't matter as much. If I double neutral forest, I can get like a collector next turn. He's playing OP decks. <laughs> oh, there's a spider. Do I pre spider it? No. No, especially if I got that. That is a bloom sprite. Be afraid, cheese. Oh, I'm only at three forests now. Bloom sprite sucks. Ah. Do I double neutral to his face now? <laughs> Drop a big taunt? Back up that collector with another 1-1. One -one. I like Bloom Sprite doesn't fit here anymore, if I'm only running 3 forest. Okay, let's seek first. The Willow. Dream Keeper is honestly a consideration. I guess... <clears throat> guess Kingsguard? Honestly, I'd love to just scoop my entire hand. <laughs> right? What do I have to draw into? Uh, I guess I want the voice. Which costs five. I don't know, let's go for it. <laughs> oh no, voice needs to go. Wait, ah. Uh. Maybe we have to Dream Keeper next turn, so let's see what... Oh my god. Pass. Oh, Seek the Shelter is sad too. Because it draws me high land things, so maybe I need to go back up to... Feed the forest. Other emissary. 
other emissary. <laughs> Amazing. So I think I just pre-hit. Would love to hit into the monk. But also, I want like a, a target for the guy, I guess here. This in hopes of getting, wait, I wanna head in, get another card. A oh, fairy. Man, this will never proc. <laughs> it is a great mistake to confuse I think. Alright, let's see what we get. I think. Space. Because space is not empty. The whole Sad. So in the same way, the state of mind of the who is Got my my fairy flip. Just wanted a voice of truth. I mean, voice of hunger. So I do have two teleports. Okay. At least all this stuff's going defensive, but I mean, he could easily find a training to face at some point. Rebirth, let's draw. Do I play both of these? Yeah, I think I play both. I think so? That one five. <laughs> oh. Might need that taunt for face. Jesus is so confused. I think <laughs> he's playing around some like weird combo thing probably. I'm gonna get OTK'd so finally! There he is. But I'm gonna get OTK'd myself in a minute. Oh man. Okay, I need this to die. I think I want my voice here, right? So do I ever double neutral? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Do I just die to OTK though? There's no other way that I do it though, right? voice and then I can't play anything else. So do I just... Oh! I can use this to save my face. From the OTK. So we're not going to sacrifice this, but we will play the Divine Guardian. That's a chonky boy. Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh my god. 
give me that <sighs> sad. Amazing. <laughs> Oh no. I'm running voice. Oh god. <laughs> Told you needed spiders. Yes. Game play. <laughs> yes, spiders are definitely necessary. <clears throat> so he doesn't run nightmares, which is... Oh, look at that. Teleport. Now he draws you into teleport. How handy. <laughs> Unfortunately, I only have one. So I can't spider and teleport. I'll just have to step up. Look! <laughs> it's the 610! Amazing! But I think I don't want to really play anything here. Lord Divine! <laughs> is big! <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Hi, YouTube! <laughs> oh my god. Uh Do I just put it down defensive? Save up for that stalker teleport line. To face. Would have liked that seven attack willow aggressive. Oh, like build a forest, put it there. Yeah, fair enough. Then that would have set up the lethal for sure. This doesn't exactly set up lethal. But now I have the lethal, anyways. Well, we just beat Husk somehow. <laughs> Well, <laughs> officially ladder viable. <laughs> Husk is a bad deck. You made it. <laughs> hey, lizard. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Doesn't even beat the meta pick voice of hunger. <laughs> Lore quests are a blessing to us all. They are. <laughs> so much comes out of it. So, either I go back up to five forest for feed, or I take out bloom spray. I don't know, that honestly didn't feel like it went that poorly. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, is Divine Guardian necessary? The Divine Guardians were very funny. <laughs> I think feed is something I want. And then Tyrion Golem. Take these out. There's a lot of lands to build up to though. Tyrion Golem. Hmm. Maybe I don't need Tyrion Golem. I probably just build to... Three? Forest? And then if I ever draw a feed, I can build to it? <clears throat> Maybe. I could run like two Tyrion. It's Runin doing things you like. Ah, oh, Runin probably sucks. You're right. I had it there for the repetitive like, sack target, but I think Runin doesn't do a lot on its own, so I think that's fine to get rid of. So we still start with Bloom Sprite, Willow, Spirit, Oakling. Seek is probably pretty good, I think. Maybe I don't need the third bloom sprite. Something like that. Let's try this out. I really liked the Divine Guardian. <laughs> Divine Guardian was funny. Bloom Sprite was MVP? He kind of was, though, wasn't he? Uh... Fair enough. Alright. I do, I do like my Bloom Sprite. What else do we take out? Willow? Nah. No. I guess Willow's the only thing that doesn't play to the game plan, but... Willow? Willow is a good hunger buddy. He is. <laughs> ah, everything's so good though. It's just amazing. Don't need Golem? Maybe not. I guess I've already got big things. I could put in Time of Legends then for my 30th card. For Aridin. Hey Elpanico! Willow fits to any game plan possible. I guess the taunts are nice as well in, in cases. Uh, yeah, we got rid of Runin, so maybe time is fine. Hey! Time is great. Alright, I like this list. Let's go with it. Numbers are solid. Save. So we just beat uh, Monk Husk somehow with, with this. Um, I think we got a little lucky. Cheese was also very unsure of what was going on, so it was playing a little passively. <laughs> Especially angry. <laughs> what? Oh, against angry? So I feel I still build the same sort of land setup. Yeah, feed is the only five land. Unless we draw stuff off Bloom Sprite. 
So just three forest and then draw plus ones, double neutrals, maybe. Voice of Hunger kind of demands an answer immediately. Or not immediately, but like, I mean... Demands like a... Nightmare or Frogify. <clears throat> Humbling's not even that bad. If it's big. I have a lot of options. Probably seek for a big thing. Toss Oakland for spirit, hunger, time. So I want to fight his lands. Do I want to put this here? Kind of? So I can put aggressive Aridin wherever he goes. Rakoan. a little bit of Carassius on the ladder, so that's kind of what I expect. <clears throat> the standard Rakoans don't seem to be played anymore. Spirits are funny. <laughs> Double neutrals. Oh, okay, it's this one. Seek <clears throat> so that creature gets the buff. Probably Grimguard. Then we clear the one one.
I might even taunt, actually. Taunting seems alright. I lose a like a 1-1 buff, but this threatens the 3-3. Three, three. <clears throat> Takes away that collection too. Hey, FedEx, thank you for the follow. We're doing some voice of hunger things. It's a lot of fun. Ah, Stalker. I bet. kind of expected that. Well, that's okay. Ah. Oh. Spirit. Uh, well, I can't play both of these, so... Probably the 2-8 just comes down. I hit into this one. This taunt is still here, so I could probably put 2-8 here. I'll uh, build to the opposite side. So I want that fifth forest next turn to potentially feed that willow. Managed to proc six times, which I don't think is super important, but ooh, I like that. <clears throat> so, with a plus one, I could play both of these, but I don't know if that's worth it. Oh, we can willow feed. Is that a thing we want to do? Oh, too bad I can't get this down first, though. But I think I want to. Just start by collecting and feeding. Oh, I was thinking of... Stalker this and then clearing the 1-1. One -one. Point to spirit, I think. He could stalker this, but I've got no place for the spirit to go safely. I don't know, I'm gonna take six to my face. <laughs> I have taunts, I guess. Hmm. Oh, he's on one card. Okay. I, I think I'm fine with that. You're right, he's on one card. He could have a buff, but it'll be a sad buff. He played one rune in Guidance. Um, yeah, I think he meant to put it here, but I think the spirit there is not the worst. Uh, 
Um, he could have Gift of Rakawa, which is probably more of his stuff. He'll start drawing into 2 2 Bloom spreads. <laughs> he stepped back. Oh, he's scared. The ultimate fantasy value. I could teleport this guy. Is there a point? <clears throat> Do I ever feed this willow? I think I draw. I think I'm always drawing. Oh. I think I'm sitting back and outvaluing. I don't think I want to probably teleport that in. Maybe? I could teleport. And then block with Bloom Sprite. Teleport. Fortunately, that's a 3 5, but. Oh, I lose my creature by doing this. Oh, no. Do I feed then? Oh no. No, nah, that's okay. Maybe oh I should I should have stepped up to taunt. Hmm. Yeah, he gets a collection that he wouldn't have got otherwise. Could have. Probably okay. He might prioritize killing this. Okay. Sad, I have no creature targets in hand. <laughs> Oh. 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 Ooh. So we're gonna take this trade. I guess sacrifice this instead of the stalker. Wait, I only ever get to put this here, kill this thing. This becomes four attack, which is not even that important. Hmm. Three, five, three, two. Or I could just buff this guy. No, this guy sucks. Got to take out the toad and this, I guess. Uh oh, I don't have enough. Ah. Oh. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess I don't want to do that anyways. Probably fine. If he has other tosser, at least my collection.
teleport though. Plus one lets me play both. I don't know if I want to play both. You draw. Yeah. This is exciting. Don't have enough area though. This would be nice to go face, but... Yeah, I might be just giving up a collection this turn. Can hit into one. Verger and Emissary. Yeah, slow play out value. I think that's good too. He is down two tossers, that's true. Uh... Uh, I don't think I wanted to play that, actually. That's dumb. I want to draw more cards to get better value. Yeah, there's no point in playing that. We have to play one more Voice of Truth for our lore page. This looks like it's going to be a long game, so that might happen. That's a gift down. That's nice. But yeah, that was very sad value. <laughs> Incoming hook. Oh, the Oakling, though. So we'll just jump off to the side. I guess I can keep drawing, because I have the feed to give me a bunch of Faria next turn. Oh, another Oakland. Plus one teleport feed Oakling this turn. Oh. Me like tempo. Me go fast. <laughs> full clear was a possibility? That's true, but that would have been an expensive full clear. But, I don't know, could have been worth it. We need to keep his creatures off the board, right? He's got swarm. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, he's got, just got rain of fish. This is why, I guess. Wasn't possible if you full cleared. <laughs> hmm. Do I ever play this? I don't think I want the buff on like any of these, so I probably want to seek first. Rain kind of does nothing. Yeah, I guess it sets up collectors for him. And then Gift of Steel, big turn.
Don't think you can get Oakling buff. Oh, they're neutral. You're right. So it doesn't matter. Do I draw then? No. I've got too much stuff in hand. Ever double neutral. Okay, let's just Oakling feed, I guess. <laughs> okay, you can probably go off here. No, wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I can slowly take out the tossers. Okay. He might run Frogify, but it's probably fine if he like Frogifies that. I don't understand. Oh no. Spirit. It's okay, you have Spider Boy. Oh? That seems not the best. Wait. Okay. S something the rain does. Give me bigger spider. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I can just spider that. Man, should this bloom sprite be here so I can collect? Bigger spider. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep the 7 7 on the left. But I guess we have to spider this with our 1113 spider. <laughs> uh, this is definitely being teleported. <laughs> but I think I want it on this side. Plus one. So I get Seek next turn. I wonder if double neutraling like center here no, that was fine I guess. I have to get a forest to his face now. Wait, I can just kill the fish. Any way that I can kill the fish? Not really. He just can kill my bloom sprite. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I guess I can... Guess I want this just to collect double neutral. -la -la -la. Yes. <laughs> here and then here. Taking out that fish could be cool, but I don't know. <laughs> Saturn is right, you are a roper. I didn't believe him. <laughs> you were blind, Summer. I am a roper. <laughs> I don't think I will be. I said like 6 a.m. I thought it was only Bamster. <laughs> uh, fish dies at the end of turn. He gets one opportunity to save it. And so it didn't really matter much, because... <laughs> hey! That's something. Wait. Now I... Win. No. Almost win. Step up. Teleport. Yeah, it's an almost win. Oh well. One short of lethal, yeah. Oh no, I need to play one more voice. <laughs> the voice deck does it again! <laughs> he blocked his fish from clearing Stalker. Oh, did I? Might as well re-roll this. <laughs> Needed to step first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he could have had the clear on that, but... Probably wouldn't have mattered in the end. Because if he cleared it, my... Oh. Yeah. He might have been able to stall another turn. <laughs> this deck is funny. I feel like green could make a comeback. People don't run nightmares that often. <laughs> Humbling vision is usually favored over Frogify now. Also a big fan of green at the moment. Yes! It's working well. And honestly, it's just the meta. Like, it has nothing to do with the cards, I think. It's just the meta. Mm, 
that's nice. Guess there's not much else I really like. Kind of the people on the ladder too. Yeah, that's true. There's a lot of husk and like burn husk things. Which green is actually... Is green good against husk? I, th I feel like it would be. Wait, do I want to hit Willow into that? <clears throat> Every second player just goes same side versus Virgin and Force. Voice of Truth, bore, bore, bore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, this doesn't look like a great hand against red, though. No healing green list. There is no healing, that's true. Give me card. Hey, there it is! <laughs> What were you saying, El Panico? <laughs> Are you a hungry moon? <laughs> oh, do I just play this? Six puts me to eleven. A nine, eleven. Yeah, I think I just play it. Build a forest, or do I draw? Oh, it doesn't matter. Kinda matters. Let's draw. Rough. Could just play this. Get a free buff. It's probably fine. Jump up a tile. A real deck, Moon. <laughs> hey, Melphias. It is a real deck. Wait, this puts me up to 8. Do I just sacrifice the Stalker? I think so. I think so. Four, 4 buff for 3, exactly. Beak! Hey, Babser. <laughs> Reverse Gift of Steel. <laughs> Better Gift of Steel. Oh, just missed out on the Bloom Sprite. Keep running. So let's... 4th that other Ground Shaker out. Into Leia. Oh. Please hit that bloom sprite. Oh! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> I'm sorry. Bloom sprite is so good. <clears throat> the players on ladder. Oh yeah, that hellfire. Very true. Yeah, there's a lot of jank on ladder. So I want to get the bloom sprite down first. That's two, four, five.
Bloom Sprite wants to be here. Stalker on the other side. Stalker goes to something. No! <laughs> Oh, So sad. Do I need to heal? I might need to heal. <laughs> That's okay. We got everything else. All the other RNG pings in our favor. Give me more cards. Oh my god. All the best cards I could possibly ask for. So we clear as collector for sure. Uh, let's see what we get off this. Too unfair. <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. <clears throat> Just okay, you see. Better ogre. This is why I banned your green deck. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Oh yeah, we played the voice. Oh, we're good. So let's clear that ground shaker, I guess. stay here just fine. <laughs> okay, I understand the ban, Bamser. That probably would have been very strong against your your uh, your burn husk. I guess I want to collect, stalker, meanwhile 7-9 teleport in hand. <laughs> Value. Oh man. <laughs> Gonna be honest, I wasn't expecting this deck to do that well. <laughs> Lore! We got him. <laughs> Let's check it. Voice of Hunger. The deeper you go into the wilderness, the more terrifying and monstrous creatures you will face. In the deepest places, you will find the voices of hunger. Once Sagami Shaman, or Shaman, however you pronounce it, they lost their masks and were overwhelmed and possessed by the dark, ravenous forces they attempted to control. <clears throat> Bleh. Incredible. That was very, that was, that was amazing. I like the little faces in the belly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're trying to get out. 
The Sagami Shaman. Shaman. What do they look like normally? These things. Soulbound Sagami. Ah. Oh. Wait, that looked like it still had a mask. Maybe not. <laughs> they look like the Predator. Uh, the Predator. From Alien vs. Predator. What's well, Sagamis? While Tiki commune with the living spirits of animals and plants, the Sagami traffic with the darker elements of nature. Shamans bind these bloodthirsty spirits to intricately carved masks, imbuing them with great power. When a shaman dies, it is not uncommon for their own soul to be bound to a new mask, keeping their strength within the tribe. Lore! Ah, I see. I guess these guys were kind of meant to be paired together then, weren't they? That was kind of the idea. Interesting. I mean, that's a pretty, that's a pretty juicy voice. If you voiced the Soulbound Sagami. Get like 6, 10 stats on it. Fantastic. Okay, we've got 10 minutes until our next lore page. We could just do another match with this. This has been fun. <laughs> It's Mac. Watching stream and forgot you were in a game yourself. <laughs> it's too good. Red also. Hello. So I think we put the sturdy guy there. That'll be unfortunate, but... So this is... this like forces out the ground shaker, which is interesting. Ooh, green. Oh, voice. Do I want to get the voice out this turn? I think I do. Um... <clears throat> Do I give that plus four buff to the hunger again? Not sure what he's doing just yet. Will these have a use? They might not. But if I do, that means I have to build double neutral, right? And I think I want to be building to my feed. I think you just collect with sprite and don't voice. And do voice. Okay. I think, yeah, I think so too. Like, I want to be building my forests. I just do this. Ten, twelve is fine. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad I didn't stalk her now. Exotic pet. Oh, sad. You could have greeted a little more. Yeah. Hmm. 
That's true. No pressure. I still don't really have to hit into that. I mean, I could draw instead here. Hook could be a thing. But I think I can draw into better stuff. That's better stuff. Gotta play around hook, I think. Hmm. Hook is unfortunate. I guess I just put the arid in here. Just don't want this guy teleporting over. Is Aridin worth? I th think so. I want these at three attack, right? Three fives. Can teleport it? Wait, I can just feed it next turn. Hang on. Yeah, we don't need to play it this turn. So the only hook that happens is this one. Oh, is it worth in the list overall? I think so. Uh, lots of hand buff stuff. Oh. There's Stalker. If you could have hungered the Aridin, that would have been neat. Yeah. Yeah, probably holding it was better. But I don't know. I wanted to put pressure on the Brigand, I guess. I was excited about Beeg. But what about Beeger? Um, I think Aridin's worth it, because there's also, like, it's really easy to kill off with Voice of Hunger. But now look at these big spiders. So let's feed first. Do I teleport to play around? That doesn't really play around anything. I'm de desensitized to Beeger. As I was playing with a 60-60 illusion. <laughs> Monstrous. Uh, we can double stalker. Oh. Okay, wait. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is it worth it to dump everything? I don't know about this, but it takes away his double collection. <laughs> don't think I need to stalk her. But what about other salamander? Oh, these are... S yeah, I don't know. 2-5 is weak to the 10-10. But what about Hook? I don't know. I want to do it. I want to do it. I'm worried about, like, Salamander value into Hook and things. I don't know. Ideally, stalkers to four six. Yeah, in the future I could get them bigger, I suppose. Maybe you're right. This is gonna be a longer game. And now I threw away some tools that would have been really useful. He's on seventeen. Crackthorn coming. Can win the late game with hand buffs and spirits. 
Right. Salamander. So yeah, Salamander finds the clear. He must be running Hunt down. If he has these. Seems like a very beast-oriented list. Oh yes, it hit the Bloom Sprite. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Do I ever build to this? That's five lads away. <laughs> Maybe not. I think I have to be drawing. Need other stuff. Two, eight. Okay, just drop the Oakling. We need to draw into like feeds and stuff. Oh, Spirit, perfect. Oh no. Oh, Hook is so probable a thing, but I guess Hunt Down is as well. He's definitely running Hunt Down. Be nice if I could make this bigger. If I just hit stuff in, but could have a tree coming. Yeah, I could see that, just forests up here. Tree would probably win me, but... Yeah. All your hand cards are premium buff targets. Not forced into committing Willow. Guess I could work. Guess I could wait. Hey, yes! Not looking good. He's on a lot of Faria. He could do a lot of things. He might be also a greedy deck with three Crackthorn. Path. Three Crackthorn, three Salamander, potentially. Pretty much one? Oh wait. <clears throat> he didn't build on it? GG. We'll see, we'll see. Probably, though. Voice into Oakling's pretty strong, though. Yeah, I don't see how it's GG. I feel like I still have quite the chance. Maybe I even just voice here? Just Oakling. 2-6. I, I think I collect. Don't need to worry about clearing that. Moon wins this easy PC. Yes, you're a big bummer lame. I honestly see myself not doing that terribly. So do I plus one, or am I building these forests? I think it's a uh, too late now. Yeah, plus one pass. Oakling next turn. 
I think plus one pass was, yeah. Because I could have gotten massive voice of hunger. I need to... Yeah. It is a great mistake to confuse it with nothing. It is rather... He's got to have hook and hunt down coming very soon. Because space if he hasn't drawn any yet. Is not empty. It contains the whole universe. Did you have to clear the 7-2? So I was debating that. Maybe. It contains... I don't really have an answer to it now. Yikes. Um, is there ever a world where I want to sacrifice this? I don't think so. I just build a forest. And voice there. That's 4 6. Four, six. He gets seven stats to that. So 13, eight. He's going to be able to deal with it pretty easily. <laughs> yeah, I think I was supposed to hit that 3-2 in a while back, but I think that's all I got now. Uh, definitely have to build that land. Can't just step anywhere else. That's a six eight. Okay. I also get extra buffs with spirit. Nine nine. Not this, not this. Not any conception. Building forests could have been a thing. But I think 13 is a bit awkward for him, because he's only got 12 pairing these up. He just goes face. <laughs> so I think I plus one play both of these. That's Pretty obvious. There's no reason to clear. Maybe not. But yeah, I take care of the this guy. Uh, Bloom Sprite can just go on the well then, I guess. We want to put this out of. Oh, we want to put this out of range of things. I think. Block with Sprite. Wait, block what with Sprite? I'm thinking just Stalker this Sprite there. Big risk. Are you saying just put this here? He has... He has buff. I don't want to step into Salamander range. Oh, he doesn't have Salamander. 
if this is a thing. I'm just gonna do this. Plus one sprite. Not sure what you mean by block with sprite. Oh, you mean... Oh, you meant, like, ki kill this one and then block with sprite there. Oh, okay. Uh, what was the other guy? He was like a... Oh, yeah, you can't check. He was at 8... No, he was, uh... This was 7-9. Yeah, he was at 8-something. Salamander? Cypher! Yikes. <laughs> lore! Right, Clickman! We, we obtained our lore. Rather not have opponent buff the 4 4 or drop a creature out of range. So now we seek for a taunt. We already got the lore, and it was great. Nakomata? I guess Nakomata has the higher life. The Dream Gaper doesn't really do anything. It's okay, S doesn't play this game. Okay, I kind of want to be building my forests now. Because I think I need that, that tree heal. I see 200 billion moves ahead. I think I want this tree to come down. Four more turns. <laughs> and we start to step this up. Nekomata here. Does this do anything? We don't want to get horse mastered or anything. Out of movement. Yeah, I don't want to be horse mastered. Oh, okay. He still hasn't played any hunt downs. Maybe he's not running a hook, but hunt down has to exist. No way he's running all these beasts without hunt down. Nekomata voice lines are saved under Runin. Wait, what? That like sound? Come on, YouTube. Oh, Runin has an emote that is growls, right? <laughs> that would be so strange to hear that coming out of Runin. She's such a gentle soul. That's hacker knowledge, Summer, as Saturn would say. <laughs> Summer has delved deep into the Feria Matrix. No hunt down. Oh, thank god. So I think I'm saving the stats of my bloom sprite. Look at this tree, it's in reach! It's in reach! We're definitely building to it now, I think. We have time. Why are you wasting Cypher? Yeah.
Uh, collection is fine. Definitely trading in here. <laughs> Two billion and one moves ahead. <laughs> so we trade in first, I think. We want the buff to go on emissary. Nice. This tucks over, this collects. Emissary drops. Right here. Two more turns. Almost there. Horsemaster. Horsemaster. Hmm. Yikes. Can you help me manipulate my game? So my Goki says I am the only one. <laughs> the one true Goki to rule them all. I've adjusted for player playability level. It's fine. <laughs> Does he run? Ah. He's so land heavy though. Firestorm. What? There's the hook. Oh, that's such a fine hook. Probably. Only if you give me your seasonal cup. Oh! <laughs> the second rebirth. Sorry, I freak out over Bloom Sprite like every draw. Wait, he didn't. Okay. Fair. Oh my god. Feels like a fair trade to me. Chef's kiss. Oh, beautiful. I kind of think I want the Oakling down, though, as something to fight with. Collect? This is a... Moon is cheating. <laughs> Did not expect that. <laughs> Look at this tree next turn, though. Do I even want to collect? Maybe I don't. I think I do want the spirit. Just keep Crackthorn in mind. Oh, that's true. Could drop a 7 7 at my face. Oakling in the middle. Oakling in the middle plays around Horse Master, which is what I was afraid of a little bit before. Perhaps he wouldn't would have won if it wasn't Papeka. I like Oakling Center. And then I think I stay here. So Crackthorn could come down and retreat, so I think I don't wanna No collection. Also contest left side crack. Yeah. You win the game next turn anyways. <laughs> I mean, I need to survive another turn though. Can afford to play around obscure outs. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna try to fight. Tree can probably be safe here if he's going to invest something here. As long as the tree doesn't get hooked. Or firebombed. Wait, what? Santa will not allow the tree to get hooked. <laughs> this spot right here is out of hook range at the moment. These are definitely stepping down. Uh... <laughs> so tree goes here. I probably defend it just with everything I have now. Like step up the Oakling. This can just stay here out of hook range. Um, so the other forest, maybe here? That blocks an aggressive line. Step onto mountain. He could hook in here. Yep. 
Maybe I don't step onto it then? Yeah, I probably don't step onto it. Probably just stay here then. So only hook line is this at the moment. And this I should be able to deal with. Havoc incoming. <laughs> yeah, I think just stay like this. That's fine. Trick or treat. Oh, I just see what you did there. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> no, no, meteor. There's no meteor. What? <laughs> no. Feed into feed into more meteor. Can't believe we got to the tree. <laughs> Bloom Sprite always got your back. It's my new favorite card. <laughs> Bloom Sprite. He runs one shifting tide <laughs> into a horse master. Ah. Uh, we all Gucci. I'm predicting Moon will win, mark my words. S, you never believed in me. Oh no. Gonna make it awkward for me, huh? The Bloom Sprite. <laughs> Both sides, so you always come out on top. Kind of want to put my Bloom Sprite to protect my other spirits. So I think this steps away. So I want to protect the hook line once again. Um, I think the spirit trades into the 3 2. Because I don't have a better answer for it. So the 4 8. Steps across. <clears throat> I need to build a land, and then Bloom Sprite comes down as well. You could trade with four eight and teleport away. Oh, too late. <laughs> So I want to protect this spot. This comes down. Spirit comes first. I guess a 3-3 three, three Bloom Sprite is fine. And then 3-3 three, three Bloom Sprite comes here. Salamander. That's okay. Big spirit. Protect the tree. This is my new face. This is my new orb. I no longer care about this one. So yeah, this might go into fatigue. <laughs> No, probably not. I can probably have value with the tree sooner than that. Nine cards is a while away. Eight cards. <clears throat> One hook is out of the way, which I'm happy about. That's probably a salamander. This is my new face, my new orb. Only fairy of things, yes. <laughs> Reveler.
<laughs> Incoming meteor. Oh, he's gonna try to... Hey, two pings on that's pretty great. Big spirit. Other big spirit. Does Mac have a tree? Oh, that is the question. That's like the eighth spirit. <laughs> So good. Um, do I ever hit in? Probably not. I mean, I could. Maybe I do. Uh, do I ever take care of that? Just clear this one. Put the other spirit down. Potentially draw. Or I just hit in with this. Collect. To be honest, I don't think it matters much. Double neutral. Gonna be pretty tough for Mac. <laughs> I'm sad you doubted me, S. <laughs> Green is OP now. Meteor would be hilarious, that would. The, the tech meteor for green, <laughs> green tree. Still surprised there haven't been any hunt downs. Only saw one hook. Maji. I've got three spirits now. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, okay, we're just gonna hit face. Wait, let's just hit into this. We'll hit in with this. Why is Max still playing? <laughs> Voice of Truth? Incredible. So we'll just teleport. <laughs> Voice of truth, my own guy. Stop making highlights for YouTube. <laughs> Why not? What is going on with these bloom sprites? <laughs> bloom sprites are too powerful. Well played. Voice of truth your own guy for BM. <laughs> I already smell the clickbait. <laughs> the 
amazing. A spirit theft, that's easy. Okay. I feel like I have a deck with spirit theft in it. Oh, Bamster, you wanted me to try your Flyers deck. It's, that had a bunch of spirit thefts. Oh god. <laughs> you would not believe what this bloob sprite did explicit. <laughs> it's just bloom sprite's face with the rest blurred. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. I'll try your list out, Bamster. Feel like you had three spirits in it. Yes, alright. And apparently I don't have a flyer's list built, so this will be... Flyers. So we've got Chosen. I really like Chosen. Chosen's fun. One Twister, three Spirit. See now I'm not like super sold on the three Spirit plus three Vulture. But we'll try it out. Uh, train, bloat fly. I do like the heavy land things. Wait, one demon wing. That feels a bit awkward. I might like make my own edits as well, but we'll try this one out first. Emissary vulture. Manta. Champion. Missing something. Oh, you only have two blood fly. Wait. <laughs> Needs more improvement. Wait, what am I missing? Bet. Oh, you guys can't see. What am I missing? I think your list is cut off. Maybe? Or... No. Can't be. I'm missing something. Vulture. Emissary. Demon. Bloodfly. Nightmare, maybe? Where's Kaleem? Kaleem's decent. Kinda like three bloat fly. Have airily. Bloat fly. Two cost. Wait, what? Am I blind? Oh. Oh, I already, I already have three. Okay, wait, Bamster, what am I missing from your list? Your card list has cut off. It destroys opponents' dreams of small life flyers. <laughs> it's got a great stat line, 3-6. And charge. Um, there's not a lot of mobility in this. There's one tower, I guess. Oh, Sky Captain. I kind of like two. So this is very creature heavy, right? Uh, kind of, not really. We'll try two Sky Captain. 
charge two Mantra Rider? That was insane. How is that ever okay? The old yellow tempo. tempo. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. Theft and Vulture are a bit anti synergistic. But I'm willing to try them out. <laughs> Another lizard list? No, this is a Bamster list. I slightly... I think I swapped... A sky captain out for other blood fly. But I think I think what I'd like is less spirit thefts. Maybe three demon wing. I like Oh. I don't know about Actually, I don't know. What do you guys think? What's better? Spirit theft or vulture? Because I've never really experimented with vulture. I usually have gone for spirit theft. I guess in Flyers, Spirit Theft can sometimes not help you as out as much. With how you build your lands and everything. You are going to 6 light, six land though. So maybe that's okay. Cash Beast. This guy plays Burn, right? That's his thing. This feels nice. Into Manta Rider. <clears throat> oh, that's a forest. Play a vulture if you want to run a creature heavy list. More active. Right, okay. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. <clears throat> I think I'm not a huge fan of Sky Captain sort of things, like relying on it at least. Because even if you, like, I don't like running three because they're really awkward uh, just to have a board full of Sky Captains. But then if you run two, then you don't really draw them super early. Um, so I kind of like Spirit Theft better in a lot of ways. We might get some... Juicy vultures against a green list, though. That's an awkward boar. Speak of the vulture. Uh. Could put Vulture. I mean, Bloatfly. I can put both. I also would like more movement with all these Vultures. I think Desert Twister is really cool because of all the land ramp and the Chosen. Such beautiful positioning. <laughs> A little bit awkward. Maybe he was afraid of choking sand. 
Oh, there's no, like, hard removal in here, like Choking Sand. The other Willow. Guess I'm drawing now. Sky Captain. Just clear it. Uh, I get a willow. If he hits in with the Willow, then I've got a one damage answer there. <laughs> Maybe you even get a Beastmaster. Whoa. Will this player buy the DLCs to uphold his name, status, and fame? Hmm. Oh boy, do I get to have bloat flies. Teleport. And the champion. Wait, do I want Beastmaster or do I want... No, I definitely want Beastmaster. Look, I get to value both of these cards. Um, so Vulture first. Unfortunately, that's only two attack. But what a... Wait, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Draw? Yeah, draw. <gasps> the better vulture! Oh my god, that's amazing. So vulture here, I guess. Do I want it? Or do I just vulture? I guess I want it. It doesn't do anything for me. I'd still like to have the other one. No point in playing this really yet. Okay. 6-6 six, six champion, soon to be 7-7s seven, with the Beastmaster. <laughs> so you can Vulture the Boar next turn. Oh. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Right, the Vulture died anyway, so I could've. But I didn't have any more in hand. Oh, no, I did. Yeah, I had the other Vulture. Yeah. Gagano plus three champions and Beastmaster Green. Oh no. <laughs> How did that work out? You get like 8 5 flyer. Oh, yeah, that's true. Big Vulture.
Gagana plus Enchant plus Dream Reaver. If you ignore having three dead draws, that's pretty good. <laughs> I guess you have to run time, sort of. Even that's like kind of eh. <laughs> yeah, birdship I feel is kind of meme -y. <laughs> If you're trying to get stuff off of that. Should I re-roll this? Play Spirit Theft. Well, I'm not going to be... 10 red cards. Well, that won't happen either. Oh yeah, I should have like a Pandora day or something. That would be fun. Two times champion plus Thirian Golem starting hand. <laughs> Incredible. Double f plus the double feed top deck. Bird ship plus champion. It's only an 11 fairy a combo. Plus five lands. Kagana and Meteor. <laughs> Could happen. Feed into Meteor. Tarum Meteor. my starts. Uh, Air Ellie, Sky Captain. That's it. Oh, Emissary. Air Ellie, Sky Captain, Emissary. Alright, so I'm confident I can get something. This guy, is there ever a chance where he like, double neutral tower, I think I protect this one. It's probably never going into double collection. Other emissary. I think it's fine building up from here. I guess I can step up now, doesn't matter.
Green, blue. Yeah, let's put some pressure on. <clears throat> Aurora. Hey! Look at that juicy vulture. Also that spirit theft target. Plus champion. Oh, sad. <laughs> That's fine. But there's a soul drain. Wait, so we can do five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Can only collect once. Eight, nine, ten. Oh well. Doesn't oh well the Aurora doesn't matter. Such an OP Aurora positioning. <laughs> Incredible. I can never come back. Oh, I didn't need to build a for uh, desert there. I, I I think I should have drawn. Also, this land maybe doesn't need to be there. He could always like toss that. Twister. Oh my god. A little bit of a sad vulture, especially with Frog Tosser next turn. I think I want to champion that instead. I want to maintain collection as well. Vulture's kind of cool, though. Oh, no. Did you mean to build a lake? Do I have to build another desert? Maybe. Just stay here for a sec. Draw? Fine to just stay like this. No aggro. <laughs> I guess I'm in a good spot. Tyrion expedition copter incoming. Only way you lose this is by losing board. Yeah, that's true. I agree with that. Oh. Let's get crazy. Okay, he did mean to build a, a lake. So much rain of fish nowadays. Amoeba. Wait, what? What did that do? Interesting. 
So I want a Sky Captain draw. Am I clearing this? Manta Rider. Uh, take this out. Tower shouldn't be in that list. Tower is a bit interesting. I just hit face. Vulture. Vulture to collect. Value that. Manta Rider. Wait, I could even teleport this to it. It doesn't matter, but. <laughs> teleport. Can I teleport a fish to a desert? I don't know. Didn't get to Spirit Theft. Uh, I think I'm going to make some minor adjustments. I think you can. So I think I'm going to drop at least a Vulture. I'd love to see... More Demon Wing. I wonder if Tower is necessary. If I've got like Chosen and charge things, sort of. I'd like a second Twister if I'm running Bloat Fly, I think. Yeah, it doesn't achieve much. That'd be interesting if you can. One vulture? I like spirit theft if I'm like land ramping. That makes sense. Vulture is difficult to make work sometimes. One vulture. Does Celestial Tower do anything if I don't have Flash Wind? Maybe I delete the Sky Captains altogether. Which goes for a little bit more aggressive. You would never run three Air Ellie. So it's a nice opener, builds up to Chosen, and all of these high land things, like I've got lots of Bloat Fly, lots of Desert Twister, Spirit Theft. I've never really played vultures much either. <laughs> but I'll try this out for now. So, other things that are very useful are mobility, I guess.
No flash wind. I think I start side then, if I don't have the explore. Um, both sides. Probably fight sides, so I gotta go opposite. Double air bot. Uh, I think we want that land the next. I suppose. This land lets me step here. Hey, Avenroot, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So yeah, this land... Like, if I build this one, it takes a step to get there anyways. So I guess that's okay. Oh. That's nice. Also, I can just keep building my lands up, right? Put that bloat fly there, maybe. Yeah, I like this sort of land formation. That's kind of neat. Um, so we'll drain this one. Not sure if I ever want to step up. He still has the explorer also. Uh, this could set up like a detonate thing. Detonate ground shaker. Bomb slinger. Ogre. Oh. Let's wow. Okay, so I think I'm drawing. Not going to play a champion this turn. I think I'm looking at that Manta Rider. Uh, this can easily be bomb slingered as well, but he's on one card, so he wants to be drawn. Oh, give me my spirit theft now, though. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's unfair. Double bomb slinger. Give me double spirit theft. Hey, look at that. It's a spirit theft. Do I ever build a desert? Go up to eight. I think I'm bomb slingering this turn. Draw. Always draw. I'm gonna run out of collections soon. So this... I think is going here.
junk feet. Yikes. One thing I could have done last turn was teleport this and clear it. Oh, that would have been so good. He would have been without collection. Imagine drawing last turn. You are correct. Yeah, why did I build a desert? There was no point. I should have fished for the other spirit theft. Probably want to take that out. Uh, I guess I'm drawing. <laughs> Yikes. So do I sacrifice this? I can teleport it here. Champion, collect, clear with spirit theft. Is that good? I don't know. We have a junk feat now. Should be able to do some spicy things with these double champion next turn, though. I think he would surrender here, <laughs> even with the junk feet. <laughs> think so? Doesn't seem that unlikely. With one champion, we'll see what he plays, though. Another thing is, I guess. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is a bit much. Should be kind of hard for this position. Yeah. Gonna be a little tough. Oh, I don't have the sixth land. All right, well. Face. Ah. Uh. <laughs> All right, we're probably surrendering then. That's probably it. A oh, barter. That's a cool card. Okay. Did we manage to play our spirit theft? We got it. Spirit thefts. Oh, so sad. <laughs> Death is not a finality. We live within a dream, never knowing when will next wake. Kaleem Sky Prodigy. <laughs> it's a little Rakoan. Amazing. Alright, let's see. 
Yeah, I think I'll... I might as well end it there. It's been like... Two hours, 40 minutes. Here it comes. What's coming? What's happening? I'm gonna check if anyone's streaming. Anyone in chat want to stream? Nobody's currently streaming. Kaleem's a poet. <laughs> yes. Oh, Nep, you can stream? Alright. I can... I can come and raid you if you want to set up. And we can do another match in the meantime while we're waiting. So, I'll give you a chance to set up, and then we'll come raid you when you're ready, or after this match. Keep the torch going. Nom. Spirit theft could even be a keep on the the air early start, but I don't know. Maybe not. That stalker kind of hurts. So put this... Yeah, okay. <laughs> no collections. Oh, you started? Alright, I'll come raid you once we're finished. Go and check out... Probably Nap. Plus one to play both, I think. Oakling. Wait, is he playing the same list <laughs> as I was playing? <laughs> I could consider just going face here. Well, we want to end semi-quick, right? Give up the collections, though. Oh, that doesn't do anything. I'm... <laughs> already a net decker. <laughs> 
I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I was like, sure, let's go face. That's four tiles away. Charge three makes that easy. We're gonna have to push into face very soon. <laughs> oh my god. That's a chunky boy. <laughs> Wait, he didn't protect this guy. That could cost him the game. <laughs> Bloat fly will stall the advance, I guess. Could have teleport for next turn. Wonder if I ever play around that. I might not be able to though. Wait, can we just surround my face? Probably want this collection. <clears throat> and just play more bloat flies. I can collect. Let's draw. looking for your last twister here. Oh, and just teleported away. Yeah, drawing seemed right. In the meantime, I can defend myself with bloat flies. Maybe. He might build a forest here and then I'm screwed. Yeah. Oh, he has built, he's got the same deck for sure. <laughs> So if it's the exact same deck, he's only got two teleports, but maybe he's made his own adjustments. And he's got more. So 
keep drawing. Wait, 10? Guess I have to hit into this. 10, and then I need another 5. Oh, I can champion it. Oh, I'm saved. Here, this hits face. Does this get generate me another one? Yeah, I want to... Oh, no. I can't do that. Can't champion it. Damn. Only at... Oh, I can champion the one I spawned from this. Why is there a 1615 Virgin? <laughs> okay. So we're gonna play the Bloatfly. We have to protect the forest spot. Okay. We're safe. I think. Oh, unless these stalkers. Oh no. That's an easy stalker target. Oh, it doesn't. I think it got buffed in the last patch. <laughs> yeah, they thought it was a little bit lacking, so they buffed it to a 1615. <laughs> it got uh, two Oakling buffs. Two feed into Oakling. He didn't find the Stalker. He has drawn a card. No Stalker has been found. No teleports can happen. I've got 11 to face. He's on 6. Which doesn't explain the 16 attack though. Wait, how did he get the attack buff? No, he was bigger. Oh, there was a Spirit of Rebirth as well. That got a couple buffs. And then I've I've hit into it with something. <gasps> bigger. Seedling. Wait, now I just go face, and I think I win. Spirit theft. Uh, do I draw for my own teleport? Or does he ever... No, I just closed the lands off, right? Okay, wait. Let's math this. 6, 11. So he's on 6. I need to hit with at least 2 of these. Draw! Oh, yeah. Definitely draw. Chosen doesn't do anything. Bloat fly. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I need to find teleport. So now I just put the biggest thing I can up in his face, I think. Spirit theft. Push everything to face. Uh, maybe as buffs. Will it be triple guidance? He could double neutral into seek. Could have set up tower by stepping... No, I don't have tower anymore. I used the singular one in the list. Oh, well.
hit the Grim two times. <laughs> Into Spirit Theft. Awesome. Alright. Okay, what is Nep's name so I can... Just probably Nep. Alright, I'll just copy. <laughs> copy that. We're gonna go and raid... Probably Nep. <clears throat> so thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Feria will happen again on... Wednesday. That was a fun stream, I must say. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. See ya, let's head over to Nap.